just in the scripture as you come in from John 14. This is what he reads. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Uh -huh. That where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know. And the way you know. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way, yes. the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. The Old Testament scripture will be Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, uh -huh. I shall not want. He made me to lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in my house of the Lord forever. Eternal and gracious God, it's once again, oh Lord, that we come to tell you thank you. Lord God, no matter what it looks like and what it feels like, God, yes. we still say thank you. Thank you, God. You are the Father that created heaven and earth. Yes. You are the creator of all mankind. Yes. And God, we say thank you thank on this day. Thank you. Lord God, we know that hearts are heavy yes. and tears are flowing gracefully down our faces. But Lord God, because of who you are, yes, yes. we truly say thank you on this evening, God. You are the giver of grace, God. You are the giver of healing, God. You are the giver of all things, oh God. Yes, yes. And Lord God, we wait patiently, Lord, for you to always be in the midst of what we're going through. Yes. Now, God, right now in the middle of what we're doing, God, 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 we ask you, God, that you cover this family on the day, God. Yes. We ask you that you be with the children and all the loved ones, God. Lord God, comfort them and let them know that you'll never leave us, nor will you forsake them, God. Let them know when man has left them, God, you are still here. Let them know, God, that they can lean and depend on you, God. That they can lay in the bosom of your arms, God. That you are always here. God, we thank you, Lord. And we're going to praise your name in the middle of what we're going through. God, we thank you this evening, God. We thank you for being God and being God all by yourself. Now, God, continue to be God as that you are. And do what you do best, God. Take care of each and every one in this day. Yes, in Jesus' yes. name I pray, amen. 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 amen.
to preach your divine word. And we know that your word won't return to your void. It will accomplish what you sent it out to do. The psalmist said that you sent your word and it healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. We know that the flower fade and the grass will. But it's your word that it shall never stand. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For you are my strength yes. and our redeemer. And the people of the Lord say, Amen. 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 I want to see Jesus for myself. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, we as a people, we love a hooker. We want folk to give us something we don't deserve. In our culture, one of our favorite sayings, brother, hook me up. <laughs> but there's no hookups to heaven. Right. If you're going to make it to heaven, you got to see Jesus right. for yourself. Yeah. Uh, I know your mom went to church and she served the Lord and she told you about Jesus, but you can't get into heaven so. on so. mama's relationship so. with Jesus. <laughs> and you can't get into heaven with Daddy's relationship with Jesus. Yeah. Uh, you can't get into heaven with grandma or granddaddy's relationship with Jesus. You got to see Jesus for yourself. <laughs> the old folks say every tub got to sit on his own body. Every man got to die for himself. So if you want to make it into heaven, you got to see Jesus for yourself. Yeah. To see something for yourself means to experience something mm -hmm. firsthand. Mm -hmm. It means proving to oneself that what is true and accurate. We all probably have heard something about Jesus. But to know if it's accurate or true, you got to experience it for yourself. The psalmist says, taste and see mm -hmm. that the Lord is good. Mm -hmm. Come on. The only way that you know that the Lord is good, you have experienced it yes. for yourself. Uh -huh. If you've been sick and can't get well, you know that the Lord is good. Well, yeah. If you've been broke and can't pay your bills, he made a way where it seemed to be no way. Yeah. You know that the Lord is good. Yeah. Yeah. And we want, sometimes it is not that we don't believe, but we just want to experience it for ourselves. Uh -huh. Even when Jesus died on the day that he was resurrected in that evening, the Bible said that they was in the upper room mm -hmm. with the door shut because of the Jews and Jesus came into the room. Mm -hmm. And he showed his hand and side to the disciple who was in the upper room but Thomas was not there. Right. And when Thomas came, they told Thomas, we see Thomas said, now let I see it for myself. Uh -huh. And let I see the nail pricked in his hand and the spill pricked in his eye. I wouldn't believe it. Yeah. Eight days later, Jesus showed up again yeah. and said, Thomas, tell me, I want you to put your hand in the prints of my hand and in my side. Yeah. The number eight is a number for new beginnings. Oh, wow. I'm here to tell you that any time you meet Jesus, you got a chance for a new beginning. You get a chance to start life all over again. Because even in Sacramentum 517, uh, that any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Anytime you meet Jesus for yourself, there's an opportunity for you to start life over. I don't care what you've done or what you are doing. Today is an opportunity for you to start a new and have a new beginning on the life. If you meet Jesus for yourself, I know they told you about Jesus. But if you meet the Lord for yourself, here it is in the text. Jesus was passing through Jericho and on his way out. And the Bible said that there was a man named Zacchaeus there who wanted to see Jesus for himself. I can imagine that he had heard some things about Jesus, but he wanted to know for himself. 
Because before Jesus had taken into Jericho and was going out, he, there was a blind man sitting beside the road. And Jesus gave him his sight. Maybe Zacchaeus heard about Jesus opening the blind man's eye. Maybe Zacchaeus heard about Jesus taking two fish and five loaves and feeding the five thousand. Just maybe he heard about Jesus going to Peter's mother-in-law house and Paul taking him out of hand and the fever left. Just maybe he heard about uh, Jesus, all the miracle signs and wonders he had done. Because of what he heard, he wanted to know, was it true? Yeah. I want to experience Jesus for myself. And the text said that this man was rich. Uh -huh. He was rich, but he had got rich by being crooked or by taking advantage of other people. Even though he was rich, he wasn't well liked. Mm -hmm. He was not well liked because of his occupation. He was a chief tax collector. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said he was very rich. Let me pause and put a pen right here. We think just because you got money, you don't need nothing else. This man was, he wasn't just rich, he was very rich. He had money, he had position, he had prestige, he had power, he had no, everybody knew who he was, but he realized he still was missing something. Just because you got coins in your pocket, don't mean that you don't need Jesus. Just because you got it going on, it don't mean that you don't, you don't need Jesus. I don't care what you got, if you ain't got Jesus, you ain't got everything. Thank you. 
and saw Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was not looking for Jesus. Jesus was looking for Zacchaeus. Not what he was looking for, but he knew what he where he was and what his name was. Because the text said, if you keep reading, Jesus came to seek and save that he was lost. Yes. Jesus ain't never been lost. Right. So you ain't never found him lost. Right. He ain't never been lost. He always know where he was. We were lost. Right. And his love came looking for us. Yeah. And the Bible said that when Zacchaeus came down out the tree that Jesus said I need to go down to your house and when Zacchaeus came down to meet Jesus the text said that he was filled with joy you can't meet Jesus and not be filled with joy you can't meet the Savior and not be filled with joy here it is in the text the Bible said that after Zacchaeus met Jesus and filled with joy, the folk in the crowd uh -huh. started to criticize. On, they started to complain. See, you think folk don't like you uh, because they don't like you. Sometimes folk don't like you because you done met Jesus. Hey. Because you go on the church because, because you done gave your life to the Lord. Now, the same folk that you can hang with is the people who criticize me now. This is the folk that dog you up as long as you were born to the club by.
Because I tell my mama mine. Your mama can't get you in. Your brother can't get you in. You got to see Jesus for yourself. That's the only way you can get into heaven. Everybody who goes to heaven wanted to be there. Because they met Jesus for themselves. Going to church don't make you a Christian. Because you can go to church and still miss Jesus. Come on now. Because when you meet Jesus, something happened internally. There's something happened on the inside of you. That you know that you've been changed. Yeah. You know that you know. Yeah. And there's not a shadow of that. That you know that you know that you know. For yourself. Yeah. All I'm trying to tell you is that. You got to see Jesus for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no way of getting around. There's no way of getting by it. The song says, Jesus is so high you can't get over. Mm -hmm. He's so low that you can't get up. He's so wide that you can't get around. You got to come through at the door. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father except the way. Oh, the only way you can get to God, you got to go through Jesus right. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. I pray that you see Jesus for yourself.
born, man that is born of a woman has but a short time to live. And it's full of mystery. He cometh up and is cut down like a flower. He feet is in where he shall and never could attend in one state. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for secure but be, O Lord, who for our sin and justice in this day. Yet, O Lord, most holy, O Lord, most mighty, O holy, merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pain of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our heart. Shut not thy mercy ears to our prayer. But spare us, Lord, most holy, O God, most mighty. O holy and merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for any pain of death to fall from thee. For as much as it pleased Almighty God in his wise promise to take out of this world the soul of our deceased brother, we now commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for the general resurrection in the last day, in the life and the world to come, through our Lord Jesus Christ, and through the second coming, in glorious majesty, will judge the world and the earth, and the sea shall give up their dead, and the, com and the com comfortable body of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty work and whereby we subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, henceforth blessed are the dead who died in the Lord, even so said the Spirit, for they rest from their labor. Let us repeat the model prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and we forgive us our trespasses. As we fear those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But now is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. And to the family, don't think of him as gone away. His journey's just begun. Life holds so many phases that this earth is only one. Think of him as living in the hearts of those he's touched. For someone's love is never lost. And Angela Maurice Watts' truck was loved very, very much. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. On behalf of the staff and management of Crawford Fenner Homes, We'd like to present this small token of love to your family. May God be each of you, and we love you. And man, man, please accept this on behalf of your family. And then you all be reacting to his ministry for them.
because you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. You will be with us even until the end of the age. And Lord, we ask that you would bless the food that has been prepared and the hand that prepared. Now may the love of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, rest on the battle of his full night and the Lord. Let us all say amen. Amen. Can everybody stand and step for the media family?